Good morning everyone and welcome to our Eucharist for the third Sunday of Epiphany. The Lord be with you. And also with you. When the Lord comes, he will bring light to the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make your face shine upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your ways be known on the earth, your saving power among the nations. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You, Lord, have made known your salvation and reveal your justice in the sight of the nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Collect for the Third Sunday of Epiphany. God of all mercy, your Son proclaimed good news to the poor, release to the captives and freedom to the oppressed. Anoint us with your Holy Spirit and set all your people free to praise you in Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted of the water that had become wine and did not know where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Over the last year, through necessity, Online grocery shopping has become a feature of many of our lives. It's convenient, but then there's always some surprise in our deliveries and we don't always receive what we've been expecting. In our Gospel today, we have people with different expectations. A bridal couple expecting to be able to offer hospitality to their guests and guests expecting a celebration which would go on well provisioned for several days. Mary, who when things go wrong and supplies of wine run out, expects her son, Jesus, to sort the problem. And when Jesus does solve it by turning water into wine, the chief steward's expectation is that the wine will be mediocre because the best wine is always served first followed by something more ordinary, which the guests will not notice. They don't get what they were expecting and would have been satisfied with less, but instead are given a wine of such quality that they are amazed. 
their expectations are surpassed. Jesus has provided far more than they asked for or expected. So I wonder, what are your expectations of Jesus? Do we turn to him like Mary did, as the person able to help in times of trouble? Are we surprised like the chief steward when he responds generously to our needs? I wonder, do we ever take for granted the generosity of his provision? At the wedding, Jesus was generous beyond expectation. The numerous wedding water jars were filled to overflowing and became wine of superb quality. This miracle, a sign of the abundant generosity of God's love, begins Christ's ministry. And during his ministry, that gen generosity of love carries on and continues to challenge people's expectations. It won't matter who you are or what you are, what day of the week it is, or if it breaks the rules. That love will be there for everyone, all the time, and for all time. And of course, this eventually will lead to the generosity of Jesus giving his life on the cross and against all the expectations of his disciples, God giving him back to us as our resurrected Lord. So let's accept that love, freely given and generous beyond our wildest dreams, and tell others about it. Amen. Amen. And so we bring our prayers before our generous God. As we come to the end of the week of prayer for Christian unity, we pray for the church worldwide. And as we focus on what we hold in common, let our ministry show God's abundant love for all. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of the world with their many challenges. May they work with integrity for the common good. At this time, we particularly pray for the people of the United States and President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We thank you for the beauty of your creation which sustains us. As signs of spring emerge, may they give us hope for the future and remind us of your desire to see all flourish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the communities served by our three churches in Mitten, Hurst Green and Ribchester and ask for your support for any in trouble or distress. We pray for our children and young people particularly those learning at home and online and missing the companionship of friends. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We bring before you all who are sick at this time, in body, mind or spirit, remembering particularly those suffering from COVID-19. Strengthen those who care for them and their families. We give thanks for their skills and for those giving hope through the vaccination programme. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those approaching the end of their earthly life and commend to your care those who have died. Comfort those who mourn the loss of their loved ones with the knowledge that their loved ones are safe in your care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. At a time of distress and anxiety for many, may we never fail to trust in your generous love. Merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers, prayers for, for the, the sake, sake of, of your Son, Son our, our Saviour, Saviour Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. And now our virtual peace. Christ came and proclaimed the gospel 
peace to those who are far off and peace to those who are near. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Look upon us in mercy, not in judgment. Draw us from hatred to love. Make the frailty of our praise a dwelling place for your glory. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of, your, of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Like in the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so far the calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption, as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving and bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of St John the Evangelist, St Wilfrid, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. I now receive the bread and the wine on behalf of all of you. Almighty Father, whose Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, is the light of the world, may your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, shine with the radiance of his glory. May he be known, worshipped and obeyed to the ends of the earth, for he is alive and reigns now and for ever. Amen. Amen. May Christ joy draw you to humility and worship and bring you to see God at work. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go in peace to, to love, love and, and serve, serve the Lord. Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.